Hi guys, and welcome to this week's video on my YouTube channel. This week, we are looking at standard safety and assistance technology in your Mercedes-Benz. Now, as standard, there are lots and lots of gadgets on Mercedes-Benz to help assist you and keep you safe on the open road. We're gonna cover that today. Let's dive straight in. Right then guys, so before we start, there are approximately 35 models, 35 shapes of Mercedes-Benz. So some of the technology in this video might not apply to your Mercedes, uh, but it is found on quite a few. If you're not sure, speak to your local Mercedes-Benz showroom and they can uh, either email or print out the factory spec sheet for your actual car. And then you'll be able to see on there which kind of systems it has. So we've got a few to go through. Let's start with attention assist. So the risk of falling asleep momentarily is at its greatest on long distance journeys in unchanging conditions or even in the dark. So maybe on a dual carriageway or motorway for quite a long time. And studies have shown that that risk increases by about 50% after just four hours driving and increases eightfold after six hours driving. So every time you get into your Mercedes-Benz, the car actually monitors how you drive for the first few minutes of every journey. And it will compare that driving further down the line. So four, five, six hours, it will compare with how you were driving at the start and if that has changed in any way, so potentially if you're driving down the dual carriageway or motorway and you're making kind of quick corrections, uh, driving here and then having to correct yourself, that can indicate a form of drowsiness. So the system will pick up on that and suggest that maybe pulling over and grabbing a coffee or something might be the best course of action. So imagine you're on a motorway or dual carriageway and you might by accident just get too close to the car in front. Now, if they apply their brakes very firmly, as there's less distance, you might find yourself clipping their bumper or even worse, having a full on crash. So what Mercedes-Benz have designed is a system called Active Brake Assist or formerly known as Collision Prevention Assist. Active Brake Assist works by reducing the risk of a collision of a vehicle in front and it can apply autonomous braking in some scenarios. So there's a radar at the very top of the windscreen or in some models located on the Mercedes-Benz badge just underneath the bonnet. And what it will do is scan the road ahead. Stage one, it will show a red warning triangle in the dashboard, just warning you you're a little bit too close to the car in front. Stage two, it can play an intermittent sound, warning the driver that there's an object incoming. Stage three, it can even apply the brakes in some scenarios and reduce the risk of a full-on impact. Now hopefully you'll never see this in action, but when you hurtle an object down the road at over 30 miles an hour, it can cause some serious damage, especially if a pedestrian walks out. So what Mercedes-Benz have developed is a thing called Active Bonnet. And what this does is actually fire up these little springs just here. So there's one on this side and one on the other side, and they push up on this point. And what this does is increase the back of the bonnet by about 50 millimeters. So I've got a clip of it in action in slow motion provided by Euro NCAP. How quick was that? Uh, let's show it again, but this time we'll slow it down just a little bit more. This all happens in a fraction of a second as well. So it could mean the difference between life or death, literally just by softening that impact just a little bit. Now, of course, speeding is not allowed, but it is quite easily done, especially with modern cars. They're so luxurious uh, and so quiet. Sometimes you don't even know that you're going faster than you were just a few moments ago. So this is where speed limit assist and traffic sign assist come into play. 
Now these two things actually detect speed limit signs in milliseconds and it works for our camera on the very, very top of the windscreen and it's looking for circular objects with big numbers in the middle. And the algorithm in the car and the software all work, as I said, in milliseconds and the second your back wheels have gone past the speed limit sign, it will show you that in the car. Now if you go over that speed limit of the road, it can either flash at you or it can make a sound just to warn you that you've gone over. Next up, we've got Active Parking Assist. Now with uh, new cars, they do sometimes get bigger and bigger when a new model comes out. But the issue is all the car parking spaces stay the same size. So this is where Active Parking Assist comes in. Mercedes have developed uh, almost a kind of autonomous parking system which can help park in parallel or bay parking. But the key word is Active Park Assist. So the assist part assists you, the driver, with parking. Now, as this system is a video in itself, I've actually already done a video on Active Parking Assist. So if you wanted to see this in action for the models a few years ago and the latest models, if you click on the pop-out banner up above, uh, we'll take you straight to that video and show you how that works. And the final piece of tech on Mercedes-Benz vehicles is a thing called Active Lane Keeping Assist. More commonly found on new vehicles as standard these days, but basically the system works by scanning the road ahead, again using the cameras, but it's looking for either solid white lines or the dashed white lines. Now if you go over a dashed line, it can vibrate the steering wheel every second or so. However, if you go over a solid white line without indicating, the car can actually break the opposite side of the car and jolt you back into lane. Now it's not a smooth motion this, it's designed to stop you from going over the lane markings in the first place. So in a real world example, let's say you're driving down the road and you have a quick conversation by turning around and looking at the person in the back seat. Um, and say there's a white line, a solid white line here and the car just drifting over so, ever so slightly, the steering wheel will vibrate, but then if that's ignored, the car will actually break the opposite side of the car, so the two wheels on the left side, and jolt you back into lane. And this, of course, is to stop the car from going over the lane. So it's quite good to see these kind of things being introduced as standard on new cars. And there we have it, guys. That concludes today's video on standard safety and assistance tech in your Mercedes-Benz. Now, of course, if you liked today's video, do hit that like button down below. And you know, leave a comment down below if you want to see any future videos on Mercedes or have a question about your Mercedes, leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer or even consider a suggestion for a future video. And of course, do hit that subscribe button if you want to see any future videos that I make. I usually post on Friday at four o'clock every week. Until next time, we'll see you then.